And so you see those around in different places. And it's on fields where... Alan Madison, 2013 4R advocate, doesn't take the title advocate lightly. He recently invited a few neighbors to his farm for a closer look at the 4Rs and other conservation measures. Madison and neighbors Chris Von Holten and James Schulf were nominated by crop advisor Malcolm Stanball, and they won the 4R advocate titles for 2013 and 2015. The advocates and their neighbors around Walnut, Illinois, organized this 4R Nutrient Stewardship Field Day to share ideas to use and keep their fertilizer on the farm, not in the local waterways. Their messages were buried into the point. Here's a sample of the day. We've got this unit that we're strip tilling and putting our P and K down in the strip. And a lot of that progression has happened because we need to be cognizant of the four R's. The four R's is a national initiative, and I just want to commend Illinois because they are a leading state in proactively implementing the four R's. We're losing a lot of these nutrients uh, when something isn't growing, and having something there all the time is what's going to help catch these nutrients when our crops are off and uh, when we kill the, the cover crop, it's going to replace them back into the soil. So the maximum return to nitrogen calculator, the MRTN calculator, uh, use of nitrification inhibitors, fall best management practices, and as Alan was talking about, split upon your nitrogen. Well, we're probably trying to be proactive in promoting practices that are good for nutrient stewardship. Really, it's kind of in the initial stages of a lot of producers' minds. Nominations for the next class of 4R advocates earning a trip to the Commodity Classic are due to TFI by October 31st. More information on the application process can be found at 4rnutrientsstewardship.com.